Hello and welcome to Dalrymple Models YouTube channel. This be my second video following on from the unboxing of the Tamiya LaFerrari in 124 scale. I'm actually going to be using the Hobby Design aftermarket set as well as the Tamiya carbon fibre decal set. So in this video I'll be unboxing the Hobby Design set. So to start off, opening the box you're presented with a number of resin pieces and various photo etch pieces and the instructions so to let's have a look at them I'll smooth the box out of the way we have a number of bags in here with various assemblies on and a rubber sticky back strip um, which I'll find out what that's for soon um, in the various bags I won't open these up so that they don't get don't get lost but we have if I can get it to focus, which it doesn't want to do, because it's probably because of the bag, so I will take these out. We have a little metal rod, which I don't want to lose, so I'll put that back in there. I'll drop it. No, it doesn't want to go. So in here we have the actual seat belt. There we go. The seatbelt parts, um, which are quite nice, there's a nice touch for it. Um, in here, which I'm not going to start opening these bags, you can see the backs of the brake rotors. Um, so you can see that it's going to have the detail for the vents in there. Um, so there's a number of those, and then you've got in this one, I believe, the rest of the build up for the brakes and the actual calipers which you can see are very detailed in there um, very crisp mouldings so I believe that there may be a slight problem with the fit of the wheels and the calipers with the discs um, so it might need some adjustment work going on to actually get those fit but again we'll see that when we We'll get to it, we'll establish what we've got. So in here, in our photo I set, the first little one I'll show you is the little metal emblems and seatbelt buckles, uh, which are quite nice. Um, some outer uh, logos and things for the body panels to replace, I'm assuming, some of those metal transfers in the original kit. And then you've got various uh, fins and things and extra little little bits and pieces for th various things I'll find out in, when I go through the instructions what those are all for um, I suspect these will be for the um, belly pan underneath for the rear diffuser um, some extra bits they look like they go around the window mesh on the rear screen and some other bits in there. This one you've got your fin that's for the front fans. Um, looks like you've got some windscreen wiper parts, uh, the brake pedals, accelerate pedals and various other bits in there. Again, all nice crisp photo etch pieces in there. Uh, Again, I'm not sure what these are. They look like they might be radiator fins or something like that. Um, but a few pieces to build up there, and then you've got your actual fans there to go together. And then the last one, you've got your actual front of your brake discs with all the holes in, um, various mesh and things, which obviously replace the kit mesh, um, radiator covers, and lot things to go around the lights and things so should uh, add some nice detail to it so we'll get the instruction sheet out which is just the one sheet in there so uh, you see where everything goes so you've got the extra pieces that go on the air intake on the backs where the radiators go on the the wheel well some little details to go on the steering wheel replacing the um, shifters for the gear selectors, obviously your fan build up here, 
um, various radiator covers and mesh things. Um, so yeah, it should be should be a nice addition to the kit. So uh, next video, um, as I said in my last one, will actually be starting the build. So again, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.